when you're buying a new car. Um, well, we're seeing more and more that people are using the internet to go ahead and get a heads up on what they want, uh, to do some comparison shopping between products. But typically you come in and you, you, find, you pick a vehicle out that you, that you like and you'll, you'll test drive it with your salesperson and provided you like it, you'll come in and you'll uh, to get your information, that type of thing, and get together, make sure you're on the right vehicle on the same page. And then, you know, you, you go through the negotiation process. There's, there's rebates which are set forth from the factory and then different specials of dealers running. Also at that point, we'll uh, evaluate your trade-in, if, if you have a trade-in, and get together a full picture of what it costs, what, what your trade difference is going to be, and then work out the, the financing or, uh, and taxes and that type of thing. Um, as far as negotiations go, one thing I would definitely encourage people to do is to find a car dealer or even a, a salesperson that's been in a store for a while and, and continue to go to that dealer and that salesperson again and again if you like them because, you know, the car buying process is to some people intimidating. Um, and if you're dealing with someone you trust, it makes the stress of that go down significantly and also it's going to allow you to get a better deal and a better car. You know, people worry a lot about a lot about the deal, but also don't skimp on the quality of the car you're buying. Point of fact is you're buying something that you're going to keep for an extended period of time. And even if you have to pay a little bit more to get a good, good car, it's worth it over time. Um, so I would say deal with people you trust, buy something that, that you've that you've researched and thought about and you like, and and then be be happy and confident with your decision.